There we go. Behold the light that spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant eyes. The Commander? But who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. Yeah. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, Man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenko? Let us rekindle the torch so that human consciousness may once again be resurrected. Oh, damn. I'm... For our sake and that of our God. Mm. I've heard that one before. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No. It must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander. What was it that you were searching for? I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me. I rejected the world. Xion. I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away.
It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all of this time. I'm searching for Shion, death. You will eventually find yourself here too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. Oh man, that's creepy. But more importantly, how the hell are we going to get out of this place? Connection between the phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. from the Gnosis. They're moving. Oh, holy... <laughs> They're coming after us! Oh, speed ahead! Shake them off! Aye, sir. Man! There's a ton of them! What the... Registration confirmed, little master. It's the Elsa. Jeez, those guys were damn lucky we were passing by. What the hell are they doing here? Well, whatever. All guns, target the Gnosis! Cut open an escape path for the Elsa and annihilate the enemy! Sounds like the fighting started. Fleet. It would be wiser for us to flee than fight. This is no good. We'll never get all of them. But what should we do? We should resupply early. This is what I get for taking on you, Tick. Otherwise, this would be a cinch. Little Master, enemy group formation approaching from 5 o'clock. We're being surrounded on all sides. So they're not going to let us go, huh? And they've coordinated their attack patterns. I've never seen them fight like this before. Even if we gate jump out of here, we may not be able to shake them. Little Master, another group is chasing after the Elsa! Captain! Hey, you alright? Tony, can you lose them? 
I doubt it. They're a lot faster than we are. Damn it. And Randall's guns aren't slowing them down. What are we gonna do? Mother frame, permutational phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. Heck, that wasn't so bad. Chief? Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No, that wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the Gnosis, right? Uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. Who's this little master? Uh, thanks for helping Hello. us out, little master. Sorry about all the This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin, is this your hand at work? Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create?
Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point 2100783. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. So, you got it? Roger, little master. Thanks for helping us out. You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? And Mama's gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that little master? He's our boss, the head honcho. Hey, little master. We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. <laughs> well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? <laughs> uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this wuss behind? He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. I'm <laughs> definitely giving him the boot. C come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm it's not nothing counter. Nice to... Meet you, Junior. Guinan Junior. I got a real name, but let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. Now at this point, we're pretty much halfway. Um, as soon as we hit the foundation, uh, things really heat up. I mean, really heat up. Hmm. We're being followed. Anyway, after this, there'll be another cutscene. So, this will be a 15 minute episode after the half an hour episode that you had to sit through of me battling something. So, we've seen the next part. See you guys.